Joining me now with the more on the latest developments in Iraq is Kenneth Katzman, an analyst specializing in the Iran-Iraq region. Welcome to the show. Um, let's touch on this last report we saw here from the White House. Why this apparent turnaround, this consideration? Um, and I'd like to get your thoughts on Iraq's request for help. Thank you. And of course, I'm speaking in a personal capacity, not in connection with my uh, assignment uh, with the government. But uh, Iraq, the Iraqi government views itself in a desperate situation. They've lost a third of the country in little more than a week. Their forces collapsed and they desperately are looking for sources of help. The United States obviously was a mentor, built the Iraqi security forces, and that's an obvious place to go. We have, obviously, the United States has a lot of capability. The Iraqi government is also looking to Iran. Iran built up a lot of the Shiite militias that are now headed to the front and stabilizing the front so that Baghdad is not overrun. So why should the U.S. even consider going back when so many people are against it? And the, and the president is, has also said he would not uh, send boots on the ground. Well, I think, you know, looking at the options, it sounds like the U.S. action is likely to be very limited. Uh, there's talk of not even using manned aircraft to perhaps strike very specific targets of the ISIS group, not a broad package to try to, in, in any way, drive back uh, the Sunnis who have advanced toward Baghdad, but just specific targets. So it looks like any U.S. action is going to be very limited. British Prime Minister David Cameron has warned that this group is planning to attack Britain. And are you convinced that that could happen? And if it does, or the threat becomes larger, that it would force the United States to respond? If there were evidence that the group were attacking in Europe or the United States, yes, I think the U.S. response would be more forceful. I think till now, though, we don't really have evidence that the group is looking outside Iraq or outside Syria to conduct any terrorist attacks. They seem very focused on ousting Mr. Assad, Mr. Maliki in Iraq, and, and maybe is, uh, carving out an Islamic state, straddling the border between the two. Well, I want to get your thoughts on Iran. President Hassan Rouhani said that Tehran is ready to work with the United States over Iraq if the nuclear talks succeed. Uh, touch on that as that is taking place, but, but where would that lead? What would that look like? Well, there could be cooperation and perhaps reforming a new Iraqi government. You know, they've had elections and they're in the process of choosing new leadership. Iran could be potentially helpful in moving Mr. Maliki aside and replacing him with someone more inclusive. So that could be one area of cooperation. However, you know, Iran and the U.S. have different objectives. Uh, Iran wants to push the Sunni insurrection way back to where it started. The United States is not necessarily interested in supporting Shiite government versus Sunnis. The U.S. is interested in stabilizing Baghdad and making sure ISIS doesn't become a terrorist entity in Iraq uh, taking root there. What is the possibility of something happening sooner than later in regards to some sort of Your. cooperation with Iraq, uh, Iran and the U.S. over Iraq? Well, I think it's, it could come soon. You know, uh, again, Iraq is choosing a new leadership. So these decisions are going to have to be made soon. If Iran is going to help produce a different Shiite prime minister, they need to pick somebody and engineer that pretty soon. All right. Kenneth Katzman, thank you so much for your time and your perspective.